There's an online petition that's trying to ban a new Katy Perry music video called Dark Horse. So, why is it that people are upset at this video? Well, in the video, she vaporizes a man who's wearing a pendant that says the word God in Arabic. Now, clearly, I don't even know why I'm making this distinction. You already know this. She doesn't actually vaporize a man. It's all, you know, digitally done and... It's not, it's not even one of those things where it's, like, obvious that the guy is wearing the god pendant or whatever. It's not, like, a huge thing, like the old-school rapper gigantic chains. No, it's just a regular kind of thing. But a lot of Muslims and Muslim groups are calling this blasphemy. So the petition says, quote, People from different walks of life, different religions, and from different parts of the world agree that the video promotes blasphemy, using the name of God in an irrelevant or yeah, irrelevant and distasteful manner would be considered inappropriate by any religion. So, uh, how many people have signed the petition? As of this morning, the number's likely higher now, but the petition had 30,000 signatures. 30,000 signatures to ban a music video because you don't like a necklace that one of the guys was wearing. It makes you feel uncomfortable. Man. Three words. Kiss. My. Ass. And let me warn the progressives right now. All the progressives and the liberals. Don't fall for the trick. Okay? I know a lot of good progressives and liberals that on issues like this. They kind of. Since they're so used to defending. Uh, Muslims rightfully when like Fox News needlessly attacks all of them in this broad you know vast generalized way like if one Muslim does a terrorist attack all of a sudden they call for the the deportation of all Muslims from the US or not allowing Muslims to come here on student visas anymore like Bob Beckel said on Fox News yeah we're so used to defending Muslims because there's so many ridiculous attacks waged against them and ridiculous spying programs for example that look at the entire community and don't like search in an actually constitutional way. We're so used to defending them that in cases like this, a lot of liberals will slip into it and say, yeah, you know what, they're right. They shouldn't denigrate their religion like that. No, 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 no Take a hike, you old moronic douche. Not interested in your opinion. It's called the First Amendment. It's called freedom of speech, freedom of expression. You know, Western society, you're supposed to be able to do whatever you want, say whatever you want, as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Okay? This isn't physically hurting anybody else. If you're emotionally hurt by it, tough cookies, suck it up. I see a lot of things that, you know, might upset me emotionally in one way or another. That doesn't mean anything, man. doesn't matter. I'm not going to legislate my opinion because I want to protect myself from all negative thoughts at all times. No. Part of living in a free society, sometimes, some things might be annoying. Some things might get under your skin. doesn't mean the other person needs to be censored. 